If you clicked onto this, you're wondering what I'm showing you right now. Well, it's very simple. You see those spacings are exactly the same between the first three blocks. As I move away, what is happening to the angles? Are they having an apparent compression? Are they physically moving towards each other? Or are they just apparently compressing to one another? Does it change the physical height of those bars? No, it just changes the apparent angular altitude based on the observer's angle because perspective. The physical distance I move is exactly the same. Nothing has gone incrementally wrong. The only thing that you observe is three-dimensional space. The spacings between the luminaries. This is why when we observe Polaris and we move away, it has an apparent arc because of perspective. It's not physically changing, it's only optically changing. This is so simple, yet so difficult for the Globers to just understand. What we see is based on an observer seeing in the sky. We observe the celestial dome, aka it's your field of view based on three dimensions. We observe everything in a perspective view, not in a two-dimensional orthographic demonstration. What do we actually see? We have an horizon, the plane at zero degrees, taking the measurements from that horizontal plane. This is how it is graphed out. If we have to take a two-dimensional graph and try and replicate what we see based on a three-dimensional observation. The Globers don't really like this because they say the distance and height is physically changing. This is just based on ignorance, showing they do not understand it's an apparent altitude drop and an apparent compression of distance. What we see is the celestial sphere based on our field of view. If Mike has walked 600 nautical miles and now measures an 80 degree apparent altitude angle, Polaris hasn't physically dropped. It's simply keeping to the laws of perspective and his distance is really 600 nautical miles, an actual distance across the surface of a horizontal plane. As he moves away further, it incrementally increases another 600 nautical miles, exactly as it should, because why? It's a physical distance on the ground. The only apparent change is the apparent altitude angle and the compression of angles due to perspective. This is what we are trying to explain to all globe defenders. Your globe is not physical. It's a hijacking of perspective. That's why you hate this graph so much. It's very simple. The further you walk away, the lower the apparent altitude drops and the more compressed the angles get. Therefore, it seems to have a non-linear relationship, but instead it really does have a linear relationship based on the arc in the sky. So when you are 5,400 nautical miles away from Polaris, you know you have reached your limit of field of view, and thus Polaris has an apparent altitude drop of zero degrees, which means it is touching the horizon, and this is how you believe it's your globe. <laughs> You've accurately modelled reality, Sean. Cool. I come only one of your six points to Polaris. Parallel lines never converge. <laughs> Ah, what's this then, Sean? It looks like you might possibly have accidentally proved flat side correct. <laughs> Latitude is the angular distance from the equator measured along a meridian, north or south, from zero degrees to 90 degrees. The great circle distance of the arc along the Earth's surface is called arc distance. It can also be translated into linear 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 distance, into linear distance.